afternoon everybody Olav here and welcome back to Laura Jones and the gates of good and evil so we have this box that we need to solve the puzzle for in order to get the next artifact uh, which looks like what an interesting lock yeah I'm sure um, so yeah it's basically just match up the random bits and pieces here so like Water and fire. Um, a fish and a bird. Right? No? Sun and moon, yes, so sapling and tree oh apparently that was enough apparently that one the, huh why didn't I have to okay whatever 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 repair the clockwork right it works how can I place these two large gears between the two small ones well very carefully Like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, clock's a little more complicated. Yes, it is, just a little. Okay. Well, you, the small one will not reach that that guy okay so we need There we go. There we go. I was gonna say it's like eventually it's gotta be. Eventually we've got to to get it to work on out. So where's the next one? The next one is those are monkey paws, and that's a monkey face. It's with the monkey, I think. Looks like a monkey has the artifact. Now there aren't too many monkeys out here on campus. So obviously. I still have one more artifact to find, but I think I know where that part of the key is located. Good. Everything is in your hands. Come back as soon as you have the last artifact and complete the key. I'll show you where the gate is. See you then. Laura met the gardener who had one of the artifacts. She discovered and why is there a period there? Laura met, met the gardener who had one of the artifacts she discovered and that he is a guardian of the gates of good and evil, beyond which is a portal that maintains the balance of power in the world. The gardener told Laura that she has been chosen to rebalance the portal. In her latest vision, she saw that Professor Gliss has the last artifact. Right, so let's deal with the monkey. Hi there, my furry friend. We meet at last. <laughs> so, will you give me the artifact? 
Well, I guess this faithful monkey isn't just going to hand it over to me. Maybe I can swap with him. I'll give him something he wants. Like grapes. And bananas. And blueberries. Wow, this, this, this monkey is just hungry. That's all there is, he's just hungry. Uh, ah, there they are. Okay, mangoes? Peach? Peach halves, to be specific. Pears. Yeah, you can have the pears. I do not like, I've never really liked pears. I used to pick them out of, like, separate the pears. Ah, there we go. I used to, like, separate the pears in the fruit cocktail that we used to have. Looks like we're embarking on a dangerous voyage. So, like, through and up. Okay, maybe a bit more, more, more angled. Even more angled. This is a pretty popular mini game. I've seen it in a lot of different stuff. Now the voyage begins. First, we need to exit the port. Okay, so around, up. Your ship crashed, bite me. <sighs> okay. So maybe if we angle this one in a bit, All right, so that one needs to angle out more. Bing! Yay! At last, we've reached the open ocean. These waters are very dangerous. Reefs, shallow banks, and of course, Skull Island. So we need to get through to there. Okay, so what if we, like, try and get you there, there, there? Okay, so we need you to take even more. Boom. Boom. Maybe if we... Okay, so if we angle you more towards that, will you... Ah, oh. Why do I not like this puzzle? Yeah, this is kind of BS, because, all right, maybe if we give you a bit more there, you're, no, you're not blowing hard enough. Yeah, I don't. got stuck on an island. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Screw that, that one. I know for a fact that one always just like, all the things of the ocean 
Oh, okay. It, it actually does tell me what I need to find. Okay, good. So we can actually, like, just do hidden object puzzles instead of all that. Okay, that's I can I can handle this. Especially when you literally t show me exactly the uh exactly the the orientation and everything of what I'm supposed to find. That makes it a whole lot easier than than a lot of stuff. Granted, not you know, not not easy enough for me to just rip right through it, apparently. But uh, yeah. Okay, chain. All right, there's the ship. There's another ship. It's kind of facing this way. Yep, there we go. All right, a bottle. I, I'm not sure what the hell that is. That totally looks like the mask, doesn't it? Screw you guys. Oh, it's a paddle. I have plenty of hints. <laughs> yeah, I have plenty of hints. Let's use them. You've passed the ordeal. Kind of. So now we have what looks like the actual gates. We actually need to go to the actual gates. Gotcha. I guess that was my final ordeal. I'm now in possession of all the artifacts. Wait, give me that artifact back. No way. Okay, then I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. I will gather all my strength and, gather all my strength and, are you sure about that? You don't look so well. It looks like the power of the artifact has made you weak. My head. I think I can help you. I think I can free you from the evil spirits that are controlling you. I can feel pro free Professor Gliss. Oh. Yep, okay, so, I mean, in all, in all reality, what, you know, if you, if you time it with the first set of mystical shimmering stuff, you should still be able to get it through without a problem. Because there's only a couple of orientations with that that will work. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we doing? I mean, we're like firing missiles at this evil spirit to free her? Blow a fiery kiss so that it gets past the evil spirits and warms Professor Gliss's soul. Okay, that sounds kind of weird, but all right. Oh. Nope. I don't think that one, well, actually that one might, yeah, okay. That one works.
Just keep firing. I mean, eventually one of them will get through. Like that one. That one will get through. Okay, so when they're out... Yes, when those two are out, that's the perfect time to fire. Okay. All right, cool. So is everything like being affected and changed? Cause it sure looks like it. You've defeated the evil spirits. Minigame Fiery Kiss is now available from the main menu. Great. So, okay, now we're, that we're on to actual level 16, this is a good breaking point. We actually stopped a little early last time because we were in the middle of level 14 and it reset all the way back to the beginning. So I had to play the, the gardening section again. But yeah, um, finally we are ready to go on to the actual gates and like use the artifacts and stuff like that and like make the key, I guess. I don't know. Don't forget, we are doing a month-long charity drive for Diabetes Action, the education and research uh, organization that deals with diabetes. Very, very well, uh, very, very well rated, very small operating costs and stuff like that. We have a page where you can donate. The money goes directly to them. It's just kind of a record keeping as far as how much our community has come together and raised. Um, August 19th, I will be doing a uh, live stream, of a good long live stream over on Twitch uh, because that was my dad's birthday and that was one of the things that really affected his life was diabetes. So we're, that's why we're doing that for this month and doing a special live stream for that. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olaf Productions. If you want to see some crazy Here we go. So you should meet me and my friends. Um, Even we got no money, we're gonna keep going money. up. Now, is this arrow telling me that we have to be up top here? Because if so, we're good. There is unique, Bishop. It is impossible to accurately predict how well this sphere will perform. I need at least eight hours.